Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about some of the biggest nutrition myths. Do you really need vitamin supplements? Should you avoid gluten if you don't have a medical condition? And is organic food actually better for you? We also cover the risks of vitamin overdose, what anemia is and why vegans and vegetarians are more prone to it, and how to maximize fat-soluble vitamin absorption and why both organic and conventional produce need to be washed. So let's bust some myths with knowledge and science. Let's start with vitamins. We've all heard they're essential for good health. But does that mean everyone needs supplements? No, not necessarily. A large study of over 400,000 adults found no evidence that multivitamins lower the risk of chronic diseases or help you live longer. So the study revealed that supplements actually don't help and are necessary as long as you are on a balanced diet. But when are vitamins actually necessary? There are situations where supplements can be crucial, such as vitamin D for people with limited sunlight exposure or darker skin because your body needs sunlight to produce vitamin D. Vitamin B12 is critical for vegans, vegetarians and older adults as it's primarily found in animal products and absorption decreases with age. Folate, although not a vitamin, is important for pregnant women to prevent neural tube defects in the baby. So if you suspect a deficiency, always get your levels checked by a doctor before starting any supplements. Let's talk specifically about vitamin B12 and its role in preventing anemia. Anemia is a condition where your body doesn't have enough healthy red blood cells to carry oxygen to your tissues. This can leave you feeling tired, weak, and even lightheaded. Vitamin B12 is essential for red blood cell production and nerve health. Since it's found almost exclusively in animal products, vegans and vegetarians are more prone to developing B12 deficiency related anemia over time. Symptoms can include fatigue, shortness of breath, pale skin, and numbness or tingling in the hands and feet. Here's the tricky part. Your body stores vitamin B12 in your liver, which means symptoms of deficiency can take years to show up. This delayed onset often causes people to miss early warning signs. There are different types of anemia-linked B12 deficiencies, including pernicious anemia, where the body can't absorb B12 due to a lack of another enzyme, and dietary B12 deficiency, which is common in those not consuming enough animal products. Both conditions require attention and treatment, which may include supplements, fortified food, or even injections. So if you're on a plant-based diet, make sure you're getting enough vitamin B12 through fortified foods or supplements. And remember, if you feel persistently tired or unwell, it's worth discussing it with your doctor. So now let's talk about overdosing on vitamins, especially fat-soluble ones, A, D, E, and K. Unlike water-soluble vitamins, which your body flushes out through urine, these vitamins are stored in your liver and fat cells. This makes overdosing dangerous. You wouldn't have thought that, right? So what can happen with too much of these vitamins? Vitamin A, excessive intake can cause nausea, dizziness, blurred vision, and liver damage. In severe cases, it can lead to bone fractures or birth defects in pregnant women. Vitamin D, too much vitamin D can lead to hypercalcemia, too much calcium in the blood, which causes kidney stones, tissue calcification, and even heart problems. High doses in vitamin E can increase the risk of bleeding, especially when combined with blood thinning medications. And excess vitamin K can interfere with anticoagulants and affect blood clotting. The bottom line, don't take mega doses of vitamins unless directed by your doctor. Another key point about fat-soluble vitamins is that they need dietary fat to be absorbed. If you're eating foods rich in vitamins A, D, E, or K, or taking supplements, pair them with healthy fats. For example, vitamin D supplements are absorbed better with a meal containing olive oil, avocado, or nuts. Carrots, which are rich in vitamin A, or leafy greens, which are rich in vitamin K, are more beneficial when paired with a little butter or oil. So don't skip the fat, it's essential for your body to use these vitamins effectively.
Next up, gluten. Gluten is a protein found in wheat, barley and rye and it has become a hot topic in recent years. You can buy gluten free everywhere and the products kind of want to make people think that gluten free is more healthy. The only thing for sure, it's more expensive. But unless you have a specific medical condition like celiac disease or gluten sensitivity, there is no evidence that gluten is harmful. In fact, whole grains containing gluten are rich in fiber, B vitamins and antioxidants and studies show they reduce the risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes and certain cancers. If you think gluten might be causing you problems, here's how it's diagnosed. Celiac disease is an autoimmune condition which damages the small intestine when gluten is consumed. Symptoms include diarrhea, fatigue and nutrient deficiencies. It's diagnosed with blood tests for antibodies and confirmed with the endoscopy to check for intestinal damage. Important tip, don't go gluten-free before testing as this can interfere with results. Non-celiac gluten sensitivity is a diagnosis of exclusion. If tests for celiac disease and wheat allergies are negative but symptoms improve on a gluten-free diet, it might be NCGS. For everyone else, gluten-containing foods like whole grains are a great source of nutrients. Cutting them unnecessarily might actually harm your health. Finally, let's talk about organic food. Many people assume organic produce is healthier and more nutritious, but research shows there is little difference in nutrient content between organic and conventional foods. The key difference between organic and conventional produce lies in farming practices. Organic produce has fewer pesticide residues because it uses, it uses natural alternatives. However, it doesn't mean it's pesticide free and it can still carry bacteria or dirt from the farm. This is why washing all fruits and vegetables, organic or conventional, is crucial. At the end of the day, the choice between organic and conventional is personal. Just know that both are safe to eat and offer similar nutritional benefits. So here's the takeaway. Supplements aren't always necessary and not beneficial for people with a balanced diet who don't suffer from a medical condition. And too much of certain vitamins can be harmful. Gluten is safe and even beneficial for most people. And organic food is more about farming methods than nutrition. If you learned something new today, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more myth busting content and comment below with the nutrition myths you would like me to tackle next. Thank you. Bye.